All that's left is despair, hopelessness, and of course, destruction. Up, what you nerd against? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Boku no Hero Academia, chapter 283. And motherfucker, I love this direction that Horikoshi is going in. Um, yes, you could call it the pessimist in me, but you know what? Let's be real. If. If they would have been able to stop Gigomantica, I would have been so fucking pissed. I really would have, because that would have been extremely unrealistic. It really would have. Especially when, remember, way back in the villain arc, it was nearly impossible for them to stop Gigomantica. So, the fact that they couldn't makes me happy. Um, also, uh, Todoriki showing up. Nice touch. I am really hoping that we're going to get some Todoriki versus Dobby pretty soon. Because um, let's be real, that shit needs to happen. It really fucking does. Um, the other thing is, is the eraser content. Oh, that art was just incredible. I really, really love what Horikoshi is doing with this art. The question is, is will Bones be able to, like, adapt it and give that same oomph that Horikoshi is just giving us? I would say yes and no. Yes, because, uh, like, in terms of, like, color palette and shit, I think they can. No, because they don't do as much line working and detailing as Horikoshi. That's the only reason why I'm going to say no. But anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what Horikoshi has in store for us this weekend. Ooh, look at that. We are starting off with that hopelessness and despair and loss. And this chapter is titled 75, and I'm... I have to say this right now. Horikoshi, the only thing that would make this better is if you did something with that background to, like, really, really just, like, emphasize that despair and hopelessness. Like, just a little bit more of, like, darkening or something, um, color palette-wise, just to give up, to make us feel it a little bit more. Because, like, yeah, the emotion is there, the shock and disbelief and all that, but I really would love to feel this feel it more in that background just to give it that extra oomph Ooh, look at this destruction okay I have to say this from the anime this is why I, I I say I say no on the bones part in terms of adaptation something that I had if you've watched my uh, anime live reactions for Boku no Hero Academia something that I've had a problem with with bones um I kind of and I said it earlier is line work their landscape art is awful oh my god i don't know if it's gotten better since i saw i i haven't watched book of hero academia lately but when i was watching it oh god that landscape art was trash compared to horikoshi's art and look at this art this art is gorge oh my god i think actually i think horikoshi's landscape art has gotten better as of late oh my god this is beautiful this is so beautiful. This is so gorge. And look at the sky, too. Oh, God. Everything is beautiful here. Shoji, are the heroes, you know, it's too far. I can't confirm either way. Dude, look. And there's Hawks, too. I think Hawks is still alive for now. Um, absurd. We only survived because they didn't, <laughs> they didn't consider us worthy enemies. Ha, ha, ha. Horikoshi, thank you for putting this in here. Thank you. This makes me happy. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, "Why the fuck are you happy that Horikoshi put the put put it in there?" Because that is the truth. Okay, they did not. They, they're like small fucking fry. Gigomantica even said that they're freaking gnats. They were gnats. Like, dude, I am totally down with this. I am fucking happy with this writing right now. This is great. You only survived because you guys were weak ass bitches. They didn't, they were, you were nuts in his way. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna read, um, I gotta read this again. Sir, we only survived because they didn't consider us worthy enemies. That's why we're alive. This panel is everything horikoshi this oh my god that black 
panel going into this is just everything. It gives you that terrifying effect, that Godzilla effect. Oh my god, look at that detailing. Holy shit, this is great. This is some gorgeousness. Oh my god. Majestic, your decisions were, um, uh, your decisions and actions were correct. You kids played this right. Whatever happens now, don't ever doubt that. Hey, shouldn't the set have kicked in by now, Shrum? Shrum? Our decisions, our moves. Did we do the right thing, really? Did the heroes too? Did they make the right choices? You motherfuckers got outplayed. That's what happened. You guys were out. You were outplayed. You were outmatched. Well, that's probably the better word. You are outmatched, and you are overpowered. Period. But this panel right here, look at that destruction. This destruction is gorge. Oh my god, this destruction. Love it. Seriously, this whole nightmare, didn't we just... Ah, did it make it all worse? Yes! Onwards to master! Oh my god. Horikoshi, this is some gorgeousness. Ah, oh, dude. Horikoshi and Gage are just competing with destruction right now in terms of art. Because for those of you that don't know who what I'm talking about, Jujutsu Kaisen last week, um, actually recent chapters in terms of destruction, um, that manga has had some gorgeous destruction art. And this art right here is some fierce fucking art. Oh my god. Look at that! Look at Dobby! <laughs> Look at fucking Dobby! I was like, yeah! <laughs> he's red like he's king of the fucking world! I'm living for Dobby right now! This is great! Toad is like... You know what I'm saying? He's really coming! Ha! <laughs> he nearly had his beat if not for that one slip up! Shut up! Shigaraki around you waking up turned everything on his head! Ha 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 ha! Mantica is a calamity who... Oh gosh, Gigomantica is a calamity who lives and dies for his master's sake. Jojolion readers, you know what I'm thinking right now. The wave of calamity. The flow of calamity. Jojolion readers know what I'm talking about. The foot soldiers we call Nomu were modeled after the big fella because every king needs his soldiers, right? Good, strong ones. And now with Makia on the move, total, uh, total destruction is inevitable. Shigaraki will bring your hero-saturated society crumbling down. Sorry, but I can't help but think that Nomu are them LARPers, man. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm not going to make another LARPer analogy. but Because this manga too good for that shit. And also, this art is way too good for this shit. Look at that gorgeousness. My, oh, God, I got one complaint, though, Horikoshi. I really wish you would have had some black in that background to, like, contrast with Shigaraki's gorge hair. That's the only thing that's really pissing me off right now. Unless there's some symbolistic reason you, you went this route. Like, my guess is you went with the god kind of thing. Um, oh God, even with that, I really wish you would have went with the black background here. For, obviously, contrast reasons. And to also kind of give us this god of destruction kind of thing. Especially when you are when you have the Shigaraki will bring your hero, uh, saturate society crumbling down. Dude, why did you not put a black background here? Poor Koshi, come on, man. Ugh. This would have been so perfect for a black background, especially from like a, a couple of weeks ago, that kind of black background. Oh my god, that would have been heaven here. Why? Why did you not do that? You know, like, yes, a plain black background would have been fine, but God, that kind of black background here? That would have been gorge. Shoto, I had to help, um, Ryukyu and them first. Cool off with the, um, 
cool off with that ice, it should at least provide some comfort. Damn it! Elevate his leg, um, and stop the bleeding with this, uh, binding cloth. Crap, it gets tangled so easily. What's with this cloth? <laughs> Deku, just run. No. Ooh, Deku, mad. Deku is mad, and I'm gonna say this. This art right here is fabulous. You see this art right here? This background. You see how it's emphasizing that emotion, that anger, that rage. That's the kind that you see what it back and because I know I'm gonna have people bitching at me about why I'm getting all pissy about back, about backgrounds. For those of you that have not followed me for a while, this shit right here is why I'm getting all pissy. Like, just imagine if we had like a kick-ass background like this for like that first panel to emphasize that hopelessness or fuck even that like the for that contrasting with Shigaraki. It just would have made it more powerful. Look how powerful this panel is for Deku. But man, besides that background, let's talk about the art uh, on Deku himself. Look at that detailing. Look at that, the scratches, the injuries, the, um, the line work on that. Look at the um, extra shadowing around the eyes. It's gorgeous. This is heaven. This is heaven. Well, time to die. Woo! Slut. You see, even this simple gray background here to show off that contrasting with the hair. You see how much better that looks? Where was that? You could just could have given me a black background or fucking A, a gray background to make it just for the contrasting. Fucking A, Horikoshi. But man, I will say that. That blood is looking good. Huh? Ooh, that's right. Ah, I see. I get why I was all busted up just a second ago. I had to push past my body's limits to keep moving. This panel. This panel. But now my hyper-regen quirk is back. My body should have been, have, uh, shouldn't have any limits at all. What's the date today? Ooh. Ah, I see what was going on, what Horikoshi was doing. Why we weren't getting that contrast going on. It's because of the, he was working with the natural, um, it was with the natural area. That's why he was doing that shit. Yeah. Smoke was fucking it up. I, I know, but still. But yeah, I love this contrast though. Look at that shit. Look at that. Look at that pale with, with Deku. Oh my god, this is some gorgeousness right here. His body! Gran Torino said he got the all for one quirk transplanted to him. Now you re fucking remember that? But look at that gorge. Look at that. Look at this art. Oh my god, Horikoshi, this is amazing. Probably some of the best Deku art we've had in a while, not gonna lie. It has been in like, the, the, um, these past couple of chapters. Uh, that power's too much for his body to keep up with. Well, no shit. That, and you, remember, and it's shown right here. Completion, ah, see why you went with that title, Horikoshi! Completion says 75% for a reason. Yeah. So it was, it started to catch up with him. Because there was also, there, so there was the physical aspect and the mental so, like, the physical aspect we're seeing right now, the 75%, but there's also, I, I stand by what I said a few weeks ago with that mental aspect, psychological mental aspect, where Shigaraki, I don't think, would have been in complete control of his body and body no more. Nah. Nah. Not at all. All for, um, all for one would have. Oh, for sure. All for one would have taken complete control, as we saw a few weeks ago. Just saying. Uh, stay with us, Mirko. Mirko's alive? You win this by staying alive, um, and you will win. Whatever. Hyperogen is still working. One touch should end, one touch should end this. <gasps> Woo! Nah. Ooh. One for all, um, the seventh users were floating? That sh that's Shimura's. <gasps> yes! Up here! Float up here! Yes! Up here is where I'll beat you! I swear it with all I've got! Yes! 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 I'm living! Oh my god! Yes! Now we're getting somewhere! This is some 
good shit. I am living. I love, love that Shimura's quirk is manifesting right now. Woo! That seventh is manifesting and that 75% is catching up. Yeah! I love this. Fucking fantastic chapter, um, Horikoshi. This fight has been fantastic. Um, I would say this manga got even, became, like, extremely powerful when Shigaraki woke up and, and, and embraced, um, All for One. That was when shit got good in this manga again. Well, let's be real. That vil the villain arc was great, uh, but I'm talking about, like, oh, God. The yeah, the villain arc was fucking powerful, too. I, I will say that. But, man, we had a little bit of a cool down. But, whoo, we're getting some good shit up in here. Horikoshi listening. We're getting some good hero right now. And I really love how Shimura is playing a role in this. And let's be real, Shimura, in a way, in terms of um, Shigaraki, has been playing a role this entire time. An underlying role this entire time. And I love it! Love, love, love. I see what you're doing, Horikoshi, and I am living. This is fantastic. Fan fucking tastic. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys thought of this chapter. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Boku no Hero Academia content, there's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, go find me, purchase something on my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, find me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.